Hello everyone, my name is Suman Shah and today uh, we will discuss on intercompany transaction and that is AGIS and today we will uh, discuss with, uh, with a scenario in which uh, the there is a two primary ledger sharing the common chart of accounts uh, current and currency, same currency and having a two different legal entity with a balancing segment value at given as 481 and another is 491. We will make a transition between the two different primary ledgers and uh, we will see how the, the balances get eliminated by grouping the ledger that is North US primary ledger and South uh, US primary ledger. So we will directly navigate to the uh, application, uh, how the tasks are performed. Right now we are in the application and uh, we will navigate to Intercompany accounting work, work area. I will select the transaction through the task panel. I will select create transaction. I will select the North Intercompany organization and selection the transaction type as adjustment. And I will select the today's date. Select the today's date. And I will provide the bad description. This is expense shared. Marketing, I would say marketing expenses, but I will write it down. I will provide the control account as say $700 and the, the provider is not intercompany organization and from here I will select my receiver intercompany that is South intercompany organization and I will debit $700 and the provide the transaction description that is expenses shared in marketing. And, uh, as a provider, I will receive the amount from my receiver. So I will select the account, select the company that is 481. And I will select the account as intercompany receivables. That's okay. Since I am receiving, I will create the amount $700. Expenses, shared expenses, marketing, I will go ahead and receive it. And similarly, I will provide the receiver account. I'll select the same and provide the company is 491 and the account it will be payables. I'll say okay. And now I will debit since it is payable $700. Marketing expenses shared marketing. So now I will uh, save the transaction. The transaction number is 2403. Okay. 2403. I will select the same. OK. And submit. Yeah. The transaction has been submitted. Now I will to manage intercompany outbound transaction 
I will query the transaction. So it is two four zero three. Yeah, so it has been submitted. And now I will query with the out inbound. Transaction number is two four zero three. It has been approved. Now I will transfer this transition to, to my general ledger. I'll select the same and put the date and submit. Now I will navigate to the accounting workbench. General Accounting Workbench, Manage Journals, I will search Manage Journals, I will search the period, 07, yeah. and the post will be unposted, I will query the same. So here we are. Since I have grouped the ledger of North primary ledger and South primary ledger into a group ledger that is US group ledger set. So I have accessed that particular data access set. Zero seven. The unposted again. Search query and view. And you can have a ledger. Yeah, you can have the ledger details. Here we are. So you can see seven hundred of North US primary ledger. I will select the same. So you can see the line has been created. One additional line has been created by the system. The intercompany line. I have created the same. Have... So it is a north primary ledger. So it is a it is a uh, provider. And uh, I created the amount since I have the receivable, I will receive the amount from my south primary ledger. So I created the amount, and line has created a debit line, intercompany line. Who's the same? Similarly, I will select the South primary ledger, that is South primary ledger, my South US primary ledger. So you can see it is payable amount, ledger is South primary ledger and uh, the share expenses marketing payable. And Everything is okay and post the same. Now, again, I will requery with the posted one. I'll search again. So, I selected the posted one. So here we are, 700, amount is 700, it has been posted, 
now we will navigate the how the entries get eliminated we will see through general accounting dashboard navigate to that through task panel we will inquire on detail balances and i will select us group ledger set and from accounting period that is 0722 and 0722 and i will select the company as all and the line of business all the accounting as all cost center as all and the product these are the segments which i have selected when i created my chart of accounts these are the segments six segments i have created and search so here we are so you can see this line will knock off with this line right this line will knock off with this line So out here you will book the manual entry out here just like that i have done previously that is shared expenses i have taken previously a 1450 amount similarly you will just like that it will knock off that 450 amount similarly you will pass a one general entry out here you can see that i have passed a previous entry of shared ex expenses shared so you can see the entry where i have debited a receivable intercompany receivable account and created my expenses that is marketing expenses yeah and similarly it has been knock off similarly we will pass a uh, entry relate related to that and out here you will book similarly out here also you will book the same and see enter company i passed to one other entry out here where the marketing expenses south primary ledger has booked the marketing expenses and created the payable account oh yeah expenses get booked and the payable has been create, uh, created and similarly through intercompany mm -hmm. the payable has been paid so the, this way we can eliminate entry through intercompany uh by grouping the ledger so that's it thank you